Welcome to Nostalgia Hit. In today's video, we look at the incredible life of beautiful Italian actress Sofia Loren. She was born Sofia Villani Sicolone at the Clinica Regina Margherita in Rome, Italy, on September 20, 1934. Her father, Riccardo Sicolone, was married to another woman and refused to marry her mother, Romilda Villani, despite the fact that she was the mother of his two children, Sofia and her younger sister Maria Sicolone. Sofia met with her father three times, at age 5, age 17, and in 1976 at his deathbed, citing that she forgave him, but had never forgotten his abandonment of her mother. Growing up in the slums of Pazuoli during the Second World War without any support from her father, she experienced much sadness in her childhood. Her life took an unexpected turn for the best, when age 14, she entered a beauty contest where she placed as one of the finalists. It was there that Sofia caught the attention of film producer Carlo Ponti, some 22 years her senior, whom she eventually married in 1966, once he finally obtained a divorce from his first wife. Perhaps he was the only father figure she ever had. Under his guidance, Sofia was put under contract and appeared as an extra in 10 films beginning in 1950, before working her way up to supporting roles. In these early films, she was credited as Sophia Lazaro, because people joked her beauty could raise Lazarus from the dead. By her late teens, Sophia was playing lead roles in many Italian features such as La Favorita in 1952. During 1953, Carlo Ponti changed her name and public image to appeal to a wider audience as Sophia Loren, being a twist on the name of the Swedish actress Marta Torin, and suggested by Goffredo Lombardo. Her first starring role was in Aida, 1953, for which she received critical acclaim. After playing the lead role in Two Nights with Cleopatra, 1953, her breakthrough role was in The Gold of Naples, 1954, directed by Vittorio De Sica. Too Bad She's Bad, also released in 1954, and La Bella Mugnea, 1955, became the first of many films in which Sofia co-starred with Marcello Mastroianni. Over the next three years, she acted in many films, including Scandal in Sorrento, Lucky to be a Woman, Boy on a Dolphin, Legend of the Lost and The Pride and the Passion. Sophia became an international film star following her five-picture contract with Paramount Pictures in 1958. Among her films at this time were Desire Under the Elms with Anthony Perkins, based upon the Eugene O'Neill play, Houseboat, a romantic comedy co-starring Cary Grant, and George Cukor's Heller in Pink Tights, in which she appeared as a blonde for the first time. In 1960, she starred in Vittorio De Sica's Two Women, a stark gritty story of a mother who is trying to protect her 12-year-old daughter in war-torn Italy. The two end up being raped inside a church as they travel back to their home city following cessation of bombings there. Originally cast as the daughter, Lauren fought against type and was eventually cast as the mother, actress Eleonora Brown would portray the daughter. Sophia's performance earned her many awards, including the Cannes Film Festival's Best Performance Prize and an Academy Award for Best Actress, the first major Academy Award for a non-English language performance or to an Italian actress. She won 22 international awards for two women. The film was extremely well received by critics and a huge commercial success. Though proud of this accomplishment, Sophia did not show up to this award, citing fear of fainting at the award ceremony. Nevertheless, Cary Grant telephoned her in Rome the next day to inform her of the Oscar award. During the 1960s, Sophia was one of the most popular actresses in the world and continued to make films in the United States and Europe, starring with prominent leading men. In 1964, her career reached its pinnacle when she received $1 million to appear in The Fall of the Roman Empire. In 1965, she received a second Academy Award nomination for her performance in Marriage Italian Style. Sophia remained a bona fide international movie star throughout the 60s and 70s, making films on both sides of the Atlantic and starring opposite such leading men as Paul Newman, Marlon Brando, Gregory Peck, and Charlton Heston. Her American films included El Cid, 1961, The Fall of the Roman Empire, 1964, Arabesque, 1966, Man of La Mancha, 1972, and The Cassandra Crossing, 1976. 
she gained a wider respect with her Italian films, especially Marriage Italian Style (1964) and A Special Day (1977). During these years she received a second Oscar nomination and won five Golden Globe Awards. From the 80s onward, Sofia's appearances on the big screen came few and far between. She preferred to spend the majority of her time raising sons Carlo Jr., born 1969, and Eduardo, born 1973. Her only acting credits during the decade were five television films, beginning with Sophia Loren, Her Own Story, 1980, a biopic in which she portrayed herself and her mother. She ventured into other areas of business and became the first actress to launch her own fragrance and design of eyewear. In 1982 she voluntarily spent 19 days in jail for tax evasion. In 1991 Sophia received an Honorary Academy Award for her body of work and was declared one of world cinema's greatest treasures. Later that year, she experienced a great loss when her mother died of cancer. Her return to mainstream films in Preta Porter, 1994, was well received, although the film as a whole was not. She followed this up with her biggest U.S. hit in years, the comedy Grumpier Old Men, 1995, in which she played a sexy divorcee who seduces Walter Matthau. Over the next decade Sophia had plum roles in a few independent films like Soleil, 1997, Between Strangers, 2002, directed by Adardo, and Lives of the Saints, 2004. Still beautiful at 72, she posed scantily clad for the 2007 Pirelli calendar. Sadly, that same year she mourned the loss of her spouse, Carlo Ponti, who died at age 94. In 2009, after far too much time away from film, she appeared in the musical 9, 2009, opposite Daniel Day-Lewis. These days Sophia is based in Switzerland, but frequently travels to Los Angeles to spend time with her sons and their families, Eduardo is married to actress Sasha Alexander. Sophia Loren remains one of the most beloved and recognizable figures in the international film world. Thanks for watching.